Just one day after school vacation ended, students and staff in Swansea will be home again tomorrow. The superintendent says a cyber attack has shut down their network. And we've learned they're not the only local school dealing with this kind of problem. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish spoke with a cybersecurity expert and joins us now with a closer look at the issue and how it can be avoided. Kayla. Well, just a few days ago, Bristol Community College announced it had been hit by a ransomware attack, the same type of attack now plaguing Swansea Public Schools. According to the FBI, ransomware has been around for years, and these attacks have only gotten more common over time. I can't see it going away anytime soon. Two local school systems starting the year dealing with ransomware, a malicious type of software that cyber criminals use to lock up computer systems until the victims pay a ransom. Experts say ransomware commonly gets into systems through emails that look like they're coming from somewhere you can trust. So it makes perfect sense for somebody to click on these, um, whereas it's actually hidden going to somewhere else malicious. School in Swansea is canceled Wednesday, according to the superintendent. 12 News obtained a letter sent to parents at one Swansea elementary school, which says the network shutdown impacts more than just computers, but things like copiers and telephones. Everything now seems to be interacting with computers. So if you take away the school's ability to do anything that's computerized, it really takes away their ability to even hold school. BCC says classes are still in session, but services like financial aid and student accounts are only available over the phone or in person. Laverty tells me anyone with a computer connected to the internet is at risk. And they're trying to get anybody they can that they think is going to pay the ransom. We see these things a lot in the healthcare field. We see these a lot in public offices. So it really is just kind of like a spray and pray type of thing. Which is why experts suggest everyone take steps to lower their risk. The FBI urges people to be careful when opening emails or links, keep antivirus software and operating systems up to date, and keep backups of your computer system on another device. Right now, there is no word on when Swansea schools will be back online or when students may be able to return to school. We've reached out to the superintendent and other school officials for information, but have not yet heard back. In studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.